Okay, welcome to another video. This time we're going to take a look at how we can format and clean and install Windows Vista from the Windows disk. Now this is just going to be a guide and depending on what make and model of computer you're using and who's manufactured that computer, you may have different disks for doing this. But this is just purely using the Windows Vista disk to format and reinstall the operating system. Now, little word of warning before we go any further, this is going to remove all data on your hard drive. So if you've got any important information on there, any important files, folders, back them up before you do this, because if you don't, you will lose them. So let's get started on this. I've got the disk in the drawer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to restart the computer. But rather than restart and let it boot through into the operating system, we're going to boot from the DVD. Now, there's a few ways to do that. One, you can go into the BIOS and change your boot priority to disk. Or on most computers now, you can just tap escape as the computer restarts and that'll give you a boot menu option. So we're going to go ahead and restart this. So as the computer restarts, just tap escape. And you'll see that we get the option. So I'm going to go down to CD, stroke DVD, hit enter. That's now going to boot the PC off the disk. So we're pressing a key to boot from disk and the Windows installation will start. Now I'm going to pause the video at times through this because otherwise we're going to be here for forever. Okay, so Windows is now going to start the installation process. Okay, this is the first option that we get on the install and this is going to ask us where we currently are. I'm in the UK, so we change that to UK. It's going to change everything else for us. And we'll click Next. One option here, Install Now. Click on Install Now. Okay, this is where you can put your product key in. I'm not going to at the moment because it just saves me having to blank it out on the disk, but you can put that in if you like. Now we have to select the version of Vista that we want it to install. So we click that, then we tick that that's the one that we purchased and click next. Accept the license terms, click next. Okay, so now we're gonna select custom install. Now this is going to give us the option to install to hard drives that we have in our computer. I only have one and it's showing here as disk 0 and partition 1. Now this is where Windows Vista is currently installed. Now I want to format this so all I do is I select that drive and go to drive options and you'll see that we get the option to format. If you hit delete it's going to delete the partition and then you'd have to repartition and then format. So all we want to do is click on format. This is going to tell you that as I said earlier it's going to delete all your data permanently. So if you're okay with that and you've backed everything up, click OK. And that's going to format the hard drive for us. Okay, once that's finished, click Next. And Windows is going to start installing the files. Okay, this is where I'm going to pause the video and let this get on with it. And we'll come back to it when it's doing something more interesting. Okay, now that we've done most of the installation, the computer's going to restart. Okay, we're going to get a message now to wait while Windows starts for the first time. Now we're back to just completing the installation. Okay, the computer's going to restart again. It'll do this several times as it says through the installation. Okay, so once the computer's restarted again, it's going to ask for our name and a password. I'm not going to put a password in at the moment, and then you can select your use a picture if you like. Then we click on next and we can pick our desktop background and we've been given a computer name so click next. Then we're going to be asked to help protect Windows so use recommended settings and now we need to input our time zone which I'm already set on. Click next. Select the computer's location. It's at home and then we get the thank you and we click start. So now Windows is going to check the computer's performance, check its hardware, see what we're running. Okay, Windows is now going to start. Get the welcome screen. Right, so once Windows has finished checking your computer's hardware and performance, you'll be taken back to the desktop and you'll be back where you started. Now, there will be updates for Vista now that you've reinstalled, and depending on how old the version is that you've actually installed will depend on how many updates that there will be available. The easiest way to check is we'll go to Start, go to Control Panel. We'll just maximise that. Go to System and Maintenance, and then go to Windows Update. Then click on Check for Updates. Windows will then go online and check for updates. Now this will do this automatically, but you may as well get it done while you're in the uh, install mode. That's basically how we install Windows Vista with a format, and I'd like to thank you for watching. 